Well, we've been really busy lately. I know. With all the board game days and new games and, well, you know, that studio project. Yes, that studio project that's finally moving. But... Thank goodness. Yes. But with that, let's just roll into our chat on today's board games. Welcome to Wisco Dice. Hey yo folks, I am your host, the Conzy with the Most, and I am joined today by... Hey, I'm Suzanne. And today it is time, it has been a long time since we have oh, recorded yes. board games and coffee, or we've recorded basically anything. So our apologies, it's for the little bit of a break, it has been absolutely nutsoid. But uh, as we go ahead and get into this episode, what should folks do? Oh, before you watch any further, you need to smash that like button. Like, subscribe, and then comment also on what you're drinking to be featured like these people in a future episode. And what are we drinking today ourselves? Oh, well, today, with the storms that have been coming through Wisconsin, especially last night, we've been dealing with that, and we are well past the coffee phase of our day today. I have moved on to water. And I've got a Diet Mountain Dew, thanks, thanks to our soda stream. So that, that's what we're drinking today. So whatever time of the day it is, wherever you've been doing, let us know what you are enjoying. So yeah, Absolutely. So let's go ahead and get into things. Let's yes. talk about all these game days we've had going on. So, oh my gosh. So uh, many. So do great. Do we want to start with a Wilden? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. this is a new, like there's a local group in Madison uh, uh, that runs, they call uh, the board games and beer group, and they run, they kind of organize and run a lot of board game events at various locations with the idea that you're going to get together for a beer and or play some games or, or whatever, whatever, drink. Yep. or no drink. A Wilden's Distilling uh, here in Madison uh, has a tap room that uh, uh, the owner wanted to get a board game day going to, and it's right, it's pretty close actually here to where we live, about 10 minutes maybe. Yeah, if that. So we said, you know, was one of your goals was to play at some yeah, of these other games. To go days. to meetups. That was one of my 2024 resolutions was to make a point of going to board game meetups in town. So mm -hmm. this one has worked into our schedule very nicely once a month. We've been to two of them now. So yeah. that's two meetups down. Yeah, these are, you know, I mean, these so, are all day, like they happen on the first Sunday every month. Yes. And I got to say, like, I the first time we didn't know what to expect exactly. Uh, everybody was super welcoming. We had a ton of people show up there. We, you know, we're not organizing. This is one of the game days no, we, don't, we organize. don't organize this one. We just so, show up and play. Yeah, and which have is great. Fun. You know, getting to play distilled in particular at an actual <laughs> distillery one, was kind of cool. cool. Yeah, and but it's it's such a nice facility. Everything's yeah. really well put together and con constructed. Yeah. Nice flooring. It's clean and the drinks. Uh, there's no beer, but the cocktails are really well put together. Uh, yeah. he, he does a great job using the spirits that they distill there to make some really good signature cocktails. Yeah, so, so clearly, Conzi really enjoys the, the cocktail aspect and the facility for this one. I do too. I've also really enjoyed some of the different games I've been able to experience, like Puerto Rico, which yeah. needs three players. Would would we uh, have, was it is it is that one that requires three players? Yes, we have it remember. and we've never played it. Okay. So I'm assuming that's why we've never played it, even though we have the and game. Either way, yeah, it was great to, but like, it was that's a great classic. great to be able to play that game. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because so many other times it's like we're playing, what, hey, what's the newest game type mm -hmm. of thing. And some other, you know, what other, and we've played, we played some Concordia, Friday. we yes. played, uh, yeah, there have been a lot of games that have hit the table there in the two times that we've been there now. Yeah. Um, but it it is a very nice facility, and we strongly recommend if you're in the Madison area, to go ahead and check out a Wilden Distilling, uh, and it is the first Sunday every month. It's a great well, time playing games, and you have a good chance yeah. of getting of uh, seeing the Wisco Dice crew there. Since we're talking about gaming events where we go out to other facilities and play games, there is of course our game nights at Misty Mountain Games uh, here in Madison. So those are on the last Friday every month. Except for the one here in July. In July. It's going to be the second to last. So it's, I think it's July 19th, I believe. It's on our yeah. website. Um, those are great. We have a wide variety of people that come out. 
We always have a good group. We have, gosh, what, usually three games going now? Two to three least? games, 10 to 15 people almost every time, or, or yep. pretty much every night now. It and keeps growing, like keeps getting more people. And each night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, usually. It, yeah, usually, unless you pick a game that's, you know, going to take you four hours to play. Mm-hmm. You get multiple games in. And, it's, um, and, it's, and it goes yeah. from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., so there's a nice window so that you can, yeah, if you want to get one of those Meteor games in, uh, there's plenty of time to do that, and we definitely do that from time to time, but it's also a great thing that we're able to sometimes just play lighter, fun games that uh, are better for larger groups, and, and we just uh, play through three or four of those. Maybe it's, oh, hey, we hop from, like say, a game like Azul or Sagrada to maybe... Uh, uh, some kind of party game to maybe and some kind of other trip taking game or something like it's it's sometimes yeah. it's just kind of crazy so how it's, many it's games all, we can play in a an night all different variety of games so that's really cool and it's always neat the atmosphere because they have a warhammer yep, going so on war- on some other tables they'll have magic, magic. draft mm-hmm. and Sometimes they'll have another um, so that, Star, that new Wars. Star Wars game. I think Star Wars Unlimited or something like that. That's also so that, that'll be now going. on Friday nights. Yeah, so there's all these other other players, and they're like checking out what we're doing being and, with and all we huge check out amount what of interest. They're doing yeah. too. So and and of course, Misty's yeah. got a great uh, board game library as well uh, on hand. So if you know we bring games out of our out of the Wisco Dice collection of games. Uh, which are different selection every month out of our yep, collection. Yep, and other people and then, bring their games, yep, too, but there's, if they want to play. And... But there's a huge selection of titles that you can just grab off the shelf and play at Misty whenever you want as well. So there's always plenty of different titles for us to pick from and play, so it's always good like that. Yep, yes. And so I did have a game day that this one was not invited to. Ah, uh, no, yes, this <laughs> is true. So, like, so, like yeah. Cabin Con, you had got your revenge on I had, I had, yes, I guess you could call it that. So, uh, one of the gamers that we met through our game nights at Misty, uh, she organized a girls, we called it a, we called it Girls Gaming Weekend. So, uh, rented a retreat place and just had a bunch of, Females that normally, you know, don't get a weekend away to just game. Uh, they're gaming. I had some uh, commitments at home, so I was driving back and forth most of the days, but got a lot of gaming in, met some other great gamers, played some awesome games like Super Mega Lucky Fun Box. I may have gotten that name wrong. <laughs> I'll put a picture up. But that one is a game that I really was like, oh, this is, you know, I didn't really like the artwork and everything else. Oh my gosh, that game's so much fun. So it was kind of like that. I got to mm-hmm. play games. I got to teach games. I got to teach Distilled for the first time because usually Conzie teaches it for mm-hmm. both at the same table. But yeah, that was, I really encourage if you can making a gaming retreat just to have a, you know, a nice couple days where you don't we about anything else if possible. Yeah, I mean, if you want to hear what our thoughts are on maybe setting up a gaming retreat or a cabin con or some other kind of event like this, how you want to organize it, let us know in the comments below and maybe that'll be a future chat on board games and coffee. Yes. Yep. And so we had other game day. We, we did. We hosted our own board game day. Finally, after like a year almost, yeah, it's well, been a while. We, were, I, I think we were both kind of hoping that the new game table, so hey, we have, we're at a t- game table right while we're shooting this. We have a second game table in the house. We're actually adding our third here soon, uh, but it hasn't arrived yet. It's no. the... But that's okay, because we have to get the studio done before it yeah, comes. That is true. We need to get the studio <laughs> pretty much done before it it's comes. It's helping our procrastination. Yeah. Yeah, the... Game day here was really good. Um, I cooked for it, so we had burgers, chicken, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, so there's plenty Lots to eat. Lots of fun with people that came. You know, we had different people coming and leaving throughout the day, yeah. depending on what their schedules yeah. were. We had uh, some new people too that we've never gamed with before that you know stopped over and were introduced to some games, and that was great. Mm-hmm. Um, at a bigger table, so we group of that of people, so we did uh, space space. Which I think is a, a great, fun game to, if you have a larger group of people that maybe don't, haven't gamed before too much. Because you're 
doing simultaneous play. Mm -hmm. So that was great. Oh, that game is so good with a larger group of players too. Like, because yep. you're constantly doing something. So yep. you're constantly engaged and in the game. I will just say with how the dice rolled in a couple cards I got really early, there was, I was not trying to end the game as quickly as I did. But if you play that game, you know that sometimes if you just, if everyone's rolling the number that you need, you, you have, you know, you, just, you are pretty good at space space. Let's, but, but we, I do it enjoy gets to the it. table a lot. Yes, that's one that gets to. We also had a new game that we impulse bought like the day before. Oh, a couple days before couple we bought it. At, we actually bought it at our Misty Mountain game night. No, or no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, you're talking about a different but, uh, game. More, so that uh, ended up getting to the table called uh, Butts on Things. Ah, yes. By. Uh, an artist that I enjoy his artwork, Brian Cook. Uh, they game right and his game right games partnered with him to make this game butts on things, which is actually cute and mm -hmm. fun, and the artwork is absolutely adorable on it. So yeah, yeah, no, it was like it it's, was not it's just, a bad game at all, no. and the artwork absolutely adds to the fun of it. Right, yes. you're always uh, looking for like what what card are you going to play and what kind of cool art is it having? Yeah, it's it's almost... Very, it's a very family-friendly game. Yes. It's very family-friendly. And if you're trying to get people in your family to play games and short games, this is one to check out for it. Yep. So, But we also yeah. got Clint Catacombs. Oh, the that's the one you were talking about. Um, yes. Which is the game that I had picked up at yes. our most recent Misty Mountain game night. Yes. And, yeah, so that, that game, I had got no chance to play it before, but we didn't own a copy of it. You know, we've gotten a table twice since we bought it. Uh, a lot of fun. It is rapidly becoming my favorite version of Clank. Uh, I love the fact that it changes up the game every time because the map changes, so you don't necessarily know you exactly how far how or yeah, pre-plan exactly what you're going to do. Mm. You kind of have to react to the game as it's kind of building out. Uh, and I didn't win at four players, so that was also, <laughs> like, it was kind of cool that somebody who hadn't really played the game much Actually did did you game. win it two players? I think I did. Oh. I don't remember. If you did, it was by like one point. It was really close when we played, yeah. Yes. So, but yeah, that's, that's definitely a cool game. So, yeah, so we had lots of fun, lots of... Um, Clearly, we've been gaming a lot. Yes. Stayed pretty late, you know, games just kind of keep going and, you know, it's hard to stop. I would say my biggest downfall with game days, I found, is that I forget to eat um, or even drink enough water. Because mm -hmm. I'm usually too involved in either teaching the game or coordinating, making sure people are, you know, getting to their, getting games and set up or just playing that I, I mm. forget to stop. So, I yeah, so make sure you to... hydrate. Uh, but <laughs> who, who would thought hydrate on a game day? Like, yeah. I guess you hydrate on game days, but for board games, so. But on top of all of that gaming, that all these yep. game days, we've also had a couple of different review games that have arrived uh, here at Biscuit Eye Studios that we have been pretty intensely playtesting mm -hmm. and sucked into that. And uh, we don't do a lot of review videos. We oh. feel like, like... We want to do like we talk about a lot of games that we really like on this show, on this channel, but we don't then tend to do as many strictly reviews for specific games. Um, we probably should do more. Let us know if you want to see more of that. All right, and in, what games? If you have any yeah. games, if we got them in our library, we'll review them then probably. Yeah, but one of the things that goes into like putting together a review is that it's it's fairly for us it's a lot more labor intensive because you have to. Not only play the game, but you have to play the game at different player counts. We have, you know, it t tends to, I really don't want to do a review and bring a review to the channel where we've played it a couple of times. Like, we'll right. talk about a game that we've played a couple of times and yes. give you what our initial impressions are, sure. But a real review, I really, we really like to get five, six, seven plays at different player counts so we can really give you our heartfelt uh, feelings about that game. Now, um, that means like we have been doing some pretty intense behind the scenes play testing on some review copies that we are going to be uh, bringing to the channel soon. 
Uh, so hopefully uh, you'll find that content uh, great, but that's uh, definitely been sucking up some time as well. And that's time that, uh, you know, we're working on stuff on the show, but we're not necessarily in front of the camera all the time. You know, it gets, and if, and if you're from, you know, the Wisconsin-ish area, you know, also that when it gets to be spring and you don't have rain and it's nice out and you're a homeowner, you have to be outside working on stuff. Or you just want to be outside, period, because you have this tiny little window. So we did <laughs> we did highlight and talk about, too, a little bit. The studio remodel has definitely been kicked into extra overdrive. Yes, we finally settled on a writ, the paint color for the walls. Yeah. So <laughs> After the, painting it walls, like two or three the times. The walls have been completely <laughs> repainted now. We have installed new lighting. We're starting to get staining work done yeah we're gonna we're uh, make yeah, it. We're now none of this none of trim. none of you know exactly what the studio is going to look like and we're not going to drop that bombshell exactly yet uh because we'll showcase a full video of how we made the uh studio and the process we went through but we basically are uh taking a spare bedroom we have here at the house and and making it our our future permanent home for shooting and recording whisker dice uh, at our and new immersive game table gaming and other immersive gaming in that room. Yeah, yeah, we really like we have. We're very fortunate to have um, lots of spaces to game, but we really, I think, one thing that we've missed with our current space, or at least I have, that is in this nice open area of our rec room, um, is that it doesn't feel super cozy and intimate. So you know. We wanted to kind of bring that back a little bit too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. So yeah, so we'll, we'll share all of our thoughts on that. I mean, I think there's a lot of design philosophy on how you can build a tabletop gaming room. And this is uh, definitely uh, yet another step in that journey for us in tabletop gaming room uh, that, we've, that we've been able to have and been fortunate to have. So, all right. Well, I think that catches us up on board games and coffee. Yep, that's what we've been up to. Let us know what you've been up to also. Now, I, I mean, i like to know what Joe's been drinking while you're playing games and watching videos, but let us know what you've been up to, too, while we've yeah. been away. So. Yeah, drop us, drop us a note in the comments. We appreciate it. All right. Until next time. Hey there, it's Conzy. Thank you so much for watching. We put out videos weekly here at Wisco Dice. Check out our channel for more great videos, and don't forget to subscribe. We also have more great content on our website at wiscodice.com. Of course, we do this all for you, the viewers. So please like the video if you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.